This is an invasive. It's the Earleaf Acacia. It's an exotic invasive and not good, no good for South Florida. It has taken over much of the natural areas. And today we're going to see what kind of damage it does by moving from an area that's infected with the Earleaf Acacia and into an area only a few feet away, really, that has no Earleaf Acacia. soil look what we have here nothing but a bunch of early facacia leaves not supposed to be here under the right condition let's try to dig through this about an inch of leaf and what do we have here see this here lots of fine fibrous roots from the trees and and little seedlings of the early facacia I'm using my fingers here just like the Stone Age people did with our tools and I'm trying to find the natural soil come a little closer see can't find the natural soil and I'm ripping through these roots so what can we learn here the roots here from the early facacia is forming a barrier and you notice here there is not really nothing else that grows here Let's keep going. We gotta get past these early facacia. And we've just broken free of the area that is predominantly early facacia. And now we are into the natural little job here. Sandy scrubland of what this place was originally. Take a look at this. Can you believe that? And look at the soil right here. What we have here, you see no early facacia litter. Instead, look at this sand. This is a natural soil. There's no competition right here with the early facacia. So the floral habitat has to be totally different. And this is really what we want to preserve. This is Florida friendly landscape to the max. Let's examine some of these plants real quick. I'm just going to do a real quick tour so that you can get a feel for it. Okay, here is a old faded coastal plain golden aster and right below it is new growth coming up off the same thing right here. Can you see that right there? So that's going to be later on become this. And over here is a small shrubby Florida rosemary and they're bigger ones and I'm going to show you a bigger one in a couple of minutes but this is a small one growing and right over here just coming out of the soil right here just coming out is a saw palmetto see that and of course that will get bigger and can form massive ground covers as we move down here bunch of saw palmetto here all of this Florida rosemary and I want to show you something we have an oak this is a live oak we have more Florida rosemary and watch it see this right here another early facacia a young one that is trying to take over but over here is gopher apple. This is a gopher apple right here and it does produce a fruit that the gopher tortoises they just love this. So subsistent meal or probably a main course for go gopher tortoises. Here's another beautiful sight. What we have here are some bromeliads that are 
embedded into the ground, but they probably came from the oak above, fell, and look what we have here. See this? Isn't this beautiful? This is a native bromeliad right here. A couple of them, maybe two or three together. We separate them. And they normally grow in trees, by the way, but a lot of bromeliads can do fine as terrestrial, terrestrial plants. And this is a single plant right here. Isn't that beautiful? And normally, where is this supposed to be? Look at this. Normally they like to stick themselves, anchor themselves someplace on the tree and grow as an epiphyte. So this is a great thing. Look at this flower right here. See this? That's a bromeliad flower. There we have it. Stephen Brown in Lee County Extension Agent and we'll be seeing you again very soon. Stick around.